How We Make Movies is brought to you by Microsoft Surface, Assimilate, Azo and AJA, Moviola, and Canon Hollywood. You have so many cool toys here. That one is my favorite from the movie. Can you show us how to use it? Sure. Uh, can you see it, everybody? This is a special camera. This is uh, a Bell and Howell 2709. It was designed in 1912. This actual camera was sold to a production company in Los Angeles in 1915 and has been making movies out here. Its last professional job was to shoot Al Yankovic. So, <laughs> but these are the original legs. Back then, you had a turret. This, by the way, was the first all-metal camera. It was designed because a, there were a filmmaking couple who had a wooden camera, which cameras before this were wood. They took it to Africa, and it was eaten by termites. Oh. So this company said, we're going to make a metal camera. It's ingenious, and it became, it set the standard for films of the silent era. This is a side finder. It had a system for focusing and composition. There's a little eyepiece. You have a turret for different focal lengths that you could, it spins. But through this eyepiece, I can line up my shot First of all, the rack over method, this is what it means. There's a sliding bar here. The lens in the middle right here of this bar, and I look through here, I line up my focus and my composition, then, and it's lined up here. The film path is here. I then put this lens that I focus over the film path, then I rack over the camera, I lock it down first. I rack it over. I slide it over. Then I'm pre-set up, and I'm now looking through a side finder. I'm not looking through the lens. The technology didn't exist for through the lens photography until after World War II. Movies like Gone with the Wind were made with a side finder. So anyway, I'm locked up. And there's one other piece of equipment I want to show you that you had to have to operate a camera like this. OK, I'm going to lock it in position. You had to have this newsboy cap. <laughs> <laughs> they always had it. And very often, they're either like this, or they turn it behind like that. And then you would try, you're, you would try to turn this crank. It was very important that it was smooth. More important that you were steady. And I, I'm still locking this tripod down. Sorry <laughs> about that. OK. Maybe it's a loose. But you would. Try to hit two revolutions a second, and that would give you 16 frames a second, which was the standard rate. So the cameraman of the day would get into a rhythm like this, and they would try to stay steady, and they would often hum songs like da 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 and that reminded them of this the speed rate. But right there, they're, you know, that's. A Bell and Howell 2709. So, so cool. There you go.